log in here. And we are going through the canyon. I love this part. What? You want to move here? Where do we live in the rocks? Do we live in caves in the walls? Like how to train your dragon? Where are we gonna build our these awesome houses at? Up here? Where all the people live in Arizona. <laughs> so we're at the little corner that you pass through when you're headed up from California to Idaho of Arizona. We're traveling through four states, California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, and then Idaho. Five, whoa, look at me, on my one hand. <laughs> yeah, this is a sweet canyon if you've never come through it. They have literally cut this mountain in half to put this road through here. Imagine the work, time, and effort it took to just, you know, literally cut this granite mountainside and forge, you know, the river kind of helped it. I guess this is get through. kind of a valley in the first place. But uh, it's pretty amazing what man has done with its ingenuity and hard work. And I'm super glad we're not driving here at night. Why not? Because I don't like going on the way at windy roads at night. It is scary at night because it's just like... It's like, you ever see Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse? Remember when he's at night and he's trying to stay awake and he's with that convicted felon and he keeps seeing those road signs that show like curves, but then they start like a pretzel and then it's like, you know, and he's like... Ah. Yeah, that's what this road reminds me of. Specifically, every time I drive through this at night, I think of Pee Wee Herman. You know what I'm talking about? These signs that like show the curve in the road and then on the movie they're like, it was like a loop and like a pretzel, like all these crazy signs. I know dude, it's frustrating. We're in the middle of nowhere and there's no internet. Yeah. What? I'm tired. You're tired? There. No. Rock Tart is pissed because he can't watch YouTube. He's on YouTube and there's only 3G and he's not being able to pull up his YouTube videos because we don't have a wireless plan attached to the iPad. We don't have the wireless at home that he usually has. What? We're about three hours, dude. Yeah, Imagine watching two movies. We're two movies away from being there. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good measure of time for you, right? Two, one Cinderella and one Little Mermaid. That's how far we are from our destination. We want some grapes, bro. Oh. I know. That two movies is a long I time. There, really. I'm serious, dude. We're about another. Th dead serious. We're about another three hours. <laughs> It's a long drive from California to Idaho, Brohim. Some cereal, totally cereal. Rock Tart's not having a good day. iPad! My pad! He calls the iPad a my pad. It's my pad. Blah, blah. Oh, hey. How you doing? Just chilling in the van. Oh yeah. Oh no! Oh, no! Why did you throw me off the cliff? Oh! Hey baby, I love you. I love you. Oh, I think you broke my femur. Blah, blah. Why are you vomiting on me now? Blah. At least it's rainbow. <laughs> Uh, if you guys didn't hear, you can get your own Jay Carl iPhone case at Rodeo Arcade. <gasps> Blah! That's how me and your mom first met. I was walking on... Yeah, don't you remember? I was just strolling along, singing a song, and then I threw you off that giant cliff and broke your femur and then threw up on you. Super romantic. That was the day I knew she was the woman of my dreams. <laughs> Such a memorable moment. One thing that's very interesting to me and makes me think about the future is watching Rocktard operate that iPad. He seriously knows how to work that thing. He knows how to open it up, he flips through his different apps, he picks a game he wants to play, he'll play it for a while, he'll shut it, he'll go to YouTube, he'll watch YouTube videos, he knows how to turn on how to train your dragon. We have it downloaded on there. He knows how to navigate through the iPad and then uh, mommy Tart is saying when he gets on the big computer he tries to touch the screen on the big computer which I feel like by the time he's you know in school and stuff I, I feel I wonder I, this is what makes me speculate is 
will all computer screens be interactive like that where you touch them and it's all, you know, touch screen? Because he, just to watch him, he's a two-year-old, he's two years old and he's sitting there like flipping through and he gets frustrated at the internet because our when it's loading he's like, ugh, like he sees a little wheel spinning and he like yells like, you know, any adult would who gets frustrated with slow internet. Which that's the thing I hope, that one day internet will just be instant, right? Think how great that would be. No waiting for YouTube videos to load. You can send terabyte files in a snap of a finger. Just think about that day. It's got to come, right? Google Fiber, I hear, is coming, which will speed up the internet. And I dream of a day, I feel like Martin Luther King, I dream of a day where internet is available anywhere. Anywhere you go, it's just in the air, magically. Like, they will have to learn how to control it. It'll be like it'll too be powerful. It all the time. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be just powerful. directly downloaded to our brains. It'll be like, oh, I wonder about this thing. And it's just like, you, like somehow you can hard dock your mind into the internet that's just floating through the air and you can Google stuff with your mind. That's the future. Google stuff with your mind. What are you watching now, dude? Huh? What? What? What did Steve Jobs create? The future. Monster. Speaking of internet and bad influences, what's this song you're singing, Sun Tizzle? Annoying Orange. It's, um... Let's hear it. And he will, he will mock you. And he will, he will mock you. Hey, buddy, coconut, you got a hairy butt. You gotta be chopped up someday. Hairy butt? <laughs> Hey, annoying orange! <laughs> Quit throwing the goldfish, you crazy monkeys! Tag her, bro. Dude, easy. You're gonna smack her in the face. If those break open and scatter all over the van, you're gonna pick them up with your nostril holes. I was just thinking that. I'm like, I know that's the fish bag. Yeah. Please don't tell me it's, it's gonna the fish come bag. up open and there's gonna be fish swimming all over in this van. Our van is an aquarium. No throwing it, dude. It might rip. Seriously, that will be a gigantic mess, and it'll, all the fun and games will be over. Yeah, and then you'll see the really bad side of You'll see you the wrath see. of mommy Tom. <laughs> Here he goes. My big man is going to take a bite of his lunch. <laughs> take a bite, rock face. Have a bite? He's going to drop that everywhere. He already did. He dropped a piece of lettuce and he bent down to pick it up and put it back in at another piece He's of lettuce. He's doing it right now. He's trying to pick up the piece of lettuce off of his seat. He doesn't want any lettuce to fall. And when, he, when he's holding it in the other hand, he's not paying attention because he's trying to pick up the lettuce, so then more falls out and he gets frustrated. <laughs> What's happening? Why is all the lettuce falling out? <laughs> this thing is not self-contained. There you go. Grab it. Two hands, dude. Oh, big bite. Oh, good boy. <laughs> nummy, nummy. Hey, where do you get that blonde hair from? I didn't give it to him. Hey, baby tart. Where'd you get that blonde hair? You don't know? Jesus. <laughs> Because I, I took a bath. Now Jesus gives it to her. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> big man takes a big bite. Good boy. Good job, Rock Tates McGill Cuddy. What'd you get? Chalk. That'll end up everywhere. That's great. Hey, what are you doing? You in your bed? You in your car's bed? You excited to be back in your little Betty Bye? What's his name? Dad, dad, dad? That's Steve. Say Steve. Dad. Hey Steve, come up here. We're spitting on daddy. bugs. So that was all daddy? Because daddy's the best driver in the world. That's right. <laughs> There's the mater. Mater. Why 
<laughs> he's gonna he's gonna eat you. Oh, rah, rah, rah. Why does he think that's his blanket and that's his pillow? He's a mixed up, confused child. How am I my outfit? I think she's seen your outfit. Or you know what? She could just watch the video tomorrow and she'll see it. Okay. You wanna go show her? Yes. Okay, go show her. Oh, there's a shirtless dude in there. Oh, What's going on, shirtless dude? Hey, you guys asleep? Put your clothes on. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> Grandma, Princess Tari wants to show you her outfit. Oh, those are the hot chocolate. Let's just have a little strobe light. Dance! Dance! This is techno! Dance. Grandma and Grandpa like techno. Want to play a game? Yeah. Okay, you jump on the bed, and then I'll hit your feet out from underneath you, and then we'll just see what happens. I'm not sure what will happen. We'll just do like a little experiment. Let's see. Jump on the bed. Let's see what happens. Okay. You ready? Jump high. Come over here. Scoot in the middle. So that when you go flying out. <laughs> you want to play the game too? Huh? Huh? <laughs> That's a fun game. Jump high. Jump high. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, dude. This is... Yeah, brush your teeth first. Because oral hygiene is very important before you fall flat on your face. Whoa, that was two birds with one stone. Was that a sympathy fall, bro? You just fell because your sister went down? Let's go, ready? <laughs> you can't fall before I hit you. That's the fun part for me. No premeditated falling. You gotta hit him when they're not, not expecting it. <laughs> Look at those little muscles in him. He's a little strong baby. Jump! Jump high. The higher you jump, the farther you fall. <laughs> if, you, if you are eating something, wait for eating, because then you will choke. Come in. Who is it? Oh, don't show me. Oh, hi, Grandma. What? Okay, don't show me. Just turn I'm not. Me. Okay, it's off. You're lying. It's off. What? I <laughs> Stop. Hold on. I was going to knock their feet out from underneath them. <laughs> Presents from Grandma. These what are, is it? These are pretty pencils for you for school. <gasps> Un lapis? Me gusta, me hermana, me abuela. Oh, muy gum for the baby right before bed. What do you guys say to your abuela? Thank you, abuela. Isn't that grandma in Spanish? Read that. Abuela, abuelos. What does it say? Boys what? rule, boys rule. Is that right? Boys. Hey, I saw that. He just chucked his gum wrapper on the floor. I'm just gonna get it. Where'd that go? That's littering. You get a ticket. This says girls rule. Boys drool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a day. Drove, drove. It's over. Day is over. I'm going to bed. Mommy Tart, punch him in the head and tell him to go to bed. <laughs> That's freaky. With that hair. That hair flying all over. You got a big presence with that hair. Cooper, will you smell my feet real quick, bro? No! Come on! Don't you love your uncle? No! Oh. Good night, Carly! Suntar, will you smell my feet? Don't you love me? Cooper, smell my feet, please. Just one. Ew, you weirdo! <laughs> Good night, right there. Alvita Sane. Alvita Sane. All you. Goodbye to you and you and you. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, don't turn the step. Wait. One last, you have the last word, Princess Tard. What? Make it a good one. Make it a one good one. Helicopter body slam. No. Daddy is helicopter body slamming in his sleep. Daddy is going night night. You'll have to save the helicopter body slams yeah. for tomorrow because Grandma and Grandpa are sleeping because I have work. I'll wake you up with a helicopter body slam. <laughs> a helicopter, a helicopter well, body slam. Thanks for the helicopter body slam. Let's start. Last word. What do you got to say? I said helicopter body. Slam. Look in the camera and be serious and tell them something. <laughs> <That was> funny, <laughs> helicopter body slam. Tell them, say <laughs> your life. You have one life to live. Make it good. Um, no. Is he in your room? I walked in there and he's like this far away from TV. He, he's a TV watcher. I'm like, you're gonna go fight. He's a TV watcher. <laughs> See you in the morning. Wait. I traded helicopter body No! I traded with. I traded with this one. You traded with, Cooper? I traded. Cooper. You're trading pencils? I traded Cooper with um the, the red one. You did? Why? You don't like the red one? I 
to win. I can or thread one. So which one did you get in trade? This one. Why do you like that one better? Flowers. Why do you like this one? Dad, it has flowers on it. How could you not want to win the flowers? It has shiny on it. Can anybody else do that? I can't. Oh, man. No, oh, give it to me. Wait. Dude. Give it to me. That is rude. I'll take the it was me. Here, wait. I gotta try it. I gotta do it one more time. Let me see the pencil. No, no, no. no. Por mi amigo. <laughs> mi amigo. No, no, no. Please. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> Grandma and Grandpa are so I'm good for you. Turn the camera off, it's bad. No, no, no. I said no, no, get in front. <laughs> she has such a deep voice. <laughs> 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 Okay, yo, yo, what up? This is the end slate. Carly Maria Jones, I have a question for you. Yes. What like are your, your September cover. goals? My September goals, I'm trying to lose 12 pounds, and I am going to, my new um, diet plan is if you can't pick it or kill it, then you can't eat it. So <laughs> eat fresh. That's all I got to say. Eat fresh. So what if it comes in a box? I don't eat things out of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Check out yesterday's vlog, what we were doing one year, two year, and three years ago. And if you haven't seen it yet, little last inspiration, go check out the running video. Here's what I want you guys to do. Go comment. I want to see your guys' goals for September. If you're in on this, Shayloss Timber, Shay Timber. Honey, what's going to be the hashtag? We need an actual name. Shay Timber. Shay Timber? Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. Mommy just said. What do you think, Princess Tard? Um, what do you mean? We need a hashtag for Shea Lost Timber. Um, Shea Timber, Shea Lost Timber, what should we call it? Shea Lost Timber. Oh, I have two <laughs> differing that's people. Short. Mommy Tart says it's too long. More characters. Right, that's a smart little social media maven you are, Mommy <laughs> Face. Shea Timber, that's what we're going to officially call it. S-H-A-Y-T-E-M-B-E-R. But go to the right, to the inspirational running video, and leave me your goals. I want to see them in the comments. I want to read what your guys' goals are. Because remember, this is a team thing. We're doing this together, all right? Love your faces. Love your faces. <sighs> I'm nervous. Love I'm love nervous. Love. Tomorrow's September 1st, man. You can do it, man. I'm nervous. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a painful 30 days because I'm going to work my butt off. You are all going to have some stresses and challenges, but if you're oh, overcoming, yeah, yeah. you're going to have some joy. Um, um, my September already. We need to hurry and get back home because I, I'm, um, 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 I, Grandma gave me these things that I hanged on my wall and instead of hanging it on, I put on a calendar. Okay, I don't know what the she, heck you're oh, talking about. She, she wants to change the calendar. Oh, she wants to switch the <laughs> calendar. <laughs> we have to run home so she can flip it from August. All right, psycho. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you guys. Go leave me your comments of your goals on Inspirational Running Video to the right. Click it. Click your face. Love you. Bye. See you tomorrow.